What's going on everybody? It's your boy Big Coleon back at it again with another video. Today we're doing something different. We got us a sent in package by a company that I've been back and forth with, uh, talking back and forth, and they've actually really been supporting us really, really good. And they're actually really, really good people that actually really support um, review channels, anything to do with cigars. So make sure you stay tuned on this episode of Cigar Street TV to find out who it is. It's your boy Big Coleo back at it again with another video. Today we got us a good old sent in package from the one and only Isabella Isabella, my bad. Isabella Cigar Company out of Miami, Florida. Go ahead and give you guys a quick little peek see. Yeah. The banding on this bad boy. I'm liking it. I like the colors on it. It actually really does look like Miami on here. Um, tropical got us a nice 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 barber pole this is actually one of the cleanest barber poles I've actually seen so um, this one is the limited mashup so and they get they sent um, I think it was either three or four cigars they sent me to uh, review so this is gonna be actually be a um, three part three part uh, episode we got two other ones that I'm gonna uh, review for them let's go ahead Give it a nice sniff. The smell, right off the back, I smell, I actually smell cocoa. Nice, clean smell to it. Nice, tight seams. Got a couple little veins in it. But you know, in cigars, veins mean there's gonna be loads of flavor. Let's go ahead and give her a cut, and a light, and a review. Dry draw, oh, it's nice. I'm getting a hint of, let's say like a sugary hint on it, on the cap. I'm liking that, I'm liking that little sugary hint. Cause I like, I like, sometimes I like little, I'm not gonna say flavor, but like infused cigars or dip cigars where they dip the cap and like a simple syrup or something like that. So let's go ahead and give her a light. And we're gonna test her out. Let's go first, first. Still getting that sweet. I'm getting that peppery on a retro hail. This is a I would say it's a medium to full. It's teetering in there, medium to full. I really, really like it. I was actually afraid um, that it wasn't going to be, but now that I'm tasting it, you licking your lips, you're still getting that, that sugary taste to it. I really like this. I really like this. I've heard, honestly, I've heard mixed, mixed feelings about um, Isabella. I've heard people say that they're a good company, a great company actually, and I've heard people say that they're not so good of a company. But from what I've come across, emailing back and forth, I, I really like them. They're, they're they're really courteous. You know, they get back to you on time. They're really friendly. And come to find out, they're actually Packer fans. You know, from Wisconsin, so Packer fans. I'm a Dallas fan, but by by heart secondary um a packer fan but big ups to them for being packer fans let's go ahead and give us another hit on this it's a really good cigar um i'm gonna go ahead and give them on the big coleon cigar review scale i'm gonna go ahead and give them a solid 4.6 on this um 
when I when I did the dry draw, the the um the draw seemed really good. But now that I'm puffing out a little bit, it's a little tight. That's the only reason why I'm not giving them a solid five, only because the the um, draw is a little tight. But other than that, it's a phenomenal cigar. I will definitely be trying to get a box of these. So make sure you guys stay tuned for part two, part three of this series for Isabella. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you get all notifications anytime I drop any videos. And remember, there are no bad cigars, only better ones. Have a good day, everybody.